What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Breville Smart Oven Air. And tonight, I'm going to make, well actually, me and Mr. Will are going to make Breville Barbecue Chicken. So I got some legs and thighs. Um, Will likes to uh, soak them in vinegar or lemon juice. Clean them. Clean them, yeah. Now we're washing out some red potatoes. What's All right, right we got the pulling chopper in the house, y'all. Right, just to show you, we got some garlic. We got some onions. We got some green onions or scallions. And we're putting it all in the pulling chop. Pulling you shall chop, y'all. Alright, so we put the potatoes. potatoes in the bowl. About to season them up. Alright, we're going to put that onion mix in there. Shout out to everybody with their uh, silicone spurtles or wooden spurtles. Alright, we're going to use that to, um, uh, that's my go-to seasoning, pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Of course, the link will be in the description. Right. Smelling awesome already. All right, we're going to put some olive oil in it. Alright, so now we're going to put some foil on it. Alright, so we're taking off all sorts of... I need a colander. Okay. Alright guys, while uh, Mr. Will cleans the chicken, we're going to go ahead and preheat the Breville. So we're going to do the same thing now for the to season the chicken. We put some garlic, green onions or scallions and onions. All right, Mr. Will wants to switch it up on us. We're using some parsley and some um well the same garlic mix, but this is not out uh, of the pink salt. It's just regular sea salt. All right, we're gonna put some baby rays on there. You can put your favorite barbecue sauce on there. I got more, so mix that all up nice and good. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Cover it up. I gotta take a picture and show my group, my kitchen. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group one time. We got it for 45 minutes at 350. We'll be back. All right, guys, this is about 35 minutes. Now, I upped it to 400 because I, I realized um, Will does it at 350 on a traditional oven, but I remember with the Breville, you kind of got to up it, um, up your temperature to compensate. So we put it at 400. So we're at like the 35 minute mark. And so what are we doing at this point? Pour some of the juice out. Okay. And then what are we going to do? Put some more barbecue sauce back on and let it thicken. Okay. Alright, it's barbecue sauce and we're adding some ketchup. Didn't think we would do that. Y'all gotta taste it, man. Every time you make it, I'll be like, man, this is the best barbecue chicken I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, the potatoes look like they're done. 
That's about 35 minutes. I'm gonna have some talking junk. I'm playing Fortnite, y'all. So his back is hurting him because I'm carrying all of y'all. Yep. Yo, let me get in and take a quick taste. Fall off the fork tender. You don't even need ketchup. Y'all take a bite first. We're gonna give you another bite when we play it, but we're taking a pre-bite. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 35 minutes, y'all. 400 degrees. You'll slap somebody. Today, today, tender. Tender and juicy. I gotta get another one, y'all. I ain't never had potatoes like this. The garlic, the seasoning is juicy. Bombs. Some more sauce. Look at that. More sauce. So that was 20 minutes more. I'm putting some more baby rays on there. Stick it in there and let it brown. Let it get thick. Mmm. Smells good. All right. So we did it at 425. We're doing that 425 with the foil off for about 15 minutes so it could get thickened up and crunchy, right? Yep. Crunchy out, crunchy outside, juicy inside. That's what you want. Okay, okay, okay. It smells awesome, guys. All right. So we got five minutes left. This is what we're looking like. Talking about, you see it's browning in the thick sauce? Yeah, I'm gonna open it up so we can see. Look at that. Come on now. So I was 10 minutes at 425 to finish it off. Look at that, smell it. God, too bad y'all not here to smell it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That, my friend. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. All right, Will, how's it taste? It's pretty good. I know your barbecue chicken is the bomb. I appreciate you coming through, making this for us. Shout out to all my brother users out there. You gotta try this, man. It smells so awesome in here. But I'm about to take a bite. That's what y'all, that's what y'all waiting on. I don't want, I don't want y'all to wait any further. This is still a little hot, but we still gonna take a bite. Y'all ready? Take a bite. Got it? Oh my God. So tender, it fall off the bone. Like, it just comes right off, man. Come on. Fall off the freaking fork. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what you're gonna call it. Fall off the fork barbecue chicken. <laughs> Y'all see that? Smell that. You smell it? I'm gonna take a bite. Take another bite. That's crazy. Mmm. Excuse me. Man. Too good. If you don't know, how do you know? Right. Some of these. We call these potatoes? Rosemary potatoes. Rosemary potatoes, mm -hmm. man. Good. Taste that garlic. A hint of salt. <coughs> so good, man. So juicy. You gotta try this out, man. Any tips for them when they try and make it at home that you want to give them? Be patient. And marinating his own sauces. Yeah. That's the key. Well, if you make this in a regular oven, it would be like 350 but in the brevel you need 400 And then you got to finish it off at 
425 for 10 minutes. But I'll leave in the uh, description what I did. But I'm telling you, man, this this chicken right here, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you enough how good it is. Will's made. I've tasted it at Will's house several times, and each time I'd be like, "You gotta make this on my show." This is another cooking with friends edition. Hmm. All right. All right. Enough. I'm gonna get off this camera. If you got an Instagram, follow me at Cooking with Doug. Other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.